Wild here. Welcome to True Review. Okay, so what are we True Reviewing today? Ah, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, first off, I want to kind of say, if you're a Zelda fan, you'll understand this reference real fast, but this is the equivalent of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, okay? I know that sounds weird, but that's the equivalent, okay? It's same character, same engine, vastly different story, okay? Now, I did hear a lot of people complaining, oh, they're reusing the map in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, they reused one-third of the grand total map, which, that's not bad. Especially when you realize they added and removed so much from the old map and just straight up from everything, it makes up for it, okay? It really makes up for it. Don't believe me? Realize they removed whistle running, a good speedrun strategy that a lot of people used. They also removed a lot of different things that makes it a lot harder. Like, heck, before you could battle a monster called a Malduga. I did that in Tears of the Kingdom. It was a lot harder. I didn't have access to the Boom Booms like I did in Breath of the Wild, which made that a heck of a lot easier of a fight. Now, I do want to talk about some things. First, canonically, all of the weapons rust, okay? They explain it in the in-game lore, so that is why all the base weapons stink, okay? And the game does kind of punish you for hoarding materials, okay? If you're just, okay, go out collect materials, the game will punish you for it. Like, I'm not kidding. You can go to any area with full upgraded armor and you will still be one shot by certain monsters. Ugh, it is not good. But that also makes it fun because you never know what you're going to find, okay? And best part is this game was designed for people to just have fun with, okay? Like straight up. My time playing it, I have found more dungeons, more boss fights than I ever expected. Like, hell, you play Zelda Breath of the Wild, you only get like four boss fights and then the final boss. That's it. In this game, I have found about ten, and that's not including the mini bosses. Although I will say this, one of the boss fights I fell into, not nice. That thing was not nice. Ugh. But yeah, this game... This game is fun. I will, however, confess, it is not worth 70. 60, yes. Okay, I will emphasize that one a lot. $60 is worth it, okay? 70 is just Nintendo trying to say, okay, do we want to do the same thing uh, Sony and Microsoft are doing? Please don't. Please don't. Don't up the price of a video game that is this good, okay? $60 is justifiable for this game. $70 is pushing your luck. But like I said, the game is fun. It is amazing. In fact, I love how intuitive it is, I guess. I don't know if I said that one correct. I'm not an English major. But basically, it is fun. Like, hell, you want to get anywhere in the game, just come up with your own ideas. Hell, there were videos I've been seeing on YouTube here where it's like, oh, hey, they didn't expect you to be able to do this. And then it shows using creations to get things where they shouldn't be. I'm just amazed. I'm like, wow, cool. But then again, I also see ones and I'm like, okay, I know this one is fake. Because there is no way you're going to be able to build something like that in this game. And it's true because there's really no way you can build it. But who knows, sometimes world changes things. Well. I'm going to call it there. I've been having way too much fun with this game, and in fact, it's actually been cutting into my other gaming time. Which reminds me, F that frickin' treasure chest Pokemon! Ugh, shiny hunting that thing sucks. Well, I hope to see you guys next time, and remember, be wild!